Hello, and welcome to the show. <laughs> I knew someone was going to fall off if we did that. We're off to a wonderful start. Oh, can we get in Pegger's car to twist? Ninetales, come give us a hand. Nope, never mind. Ninetales is off. Uh, <laughs> we are here on GTA 5 today with one of the silliest races that we ever do. This is the straight line. Uh, we're apparently starting off. We're, we're going this way now. I am full on the brakes. It's not enough. <laughs> we're going. We're, we're going. We're on the outside of the straight line. Sure, we'll get. Whoa, we'll knock Amy's car off. I feel like we're slightly cheating now. Uh, yeah, this is this has gone wrong. This has gone wrong. Everyone's <laughs> off. Uh, we should probably reset actually, because the race is about to start. Uh, this is a very silly race. We've started it very silly. -ly -ly -ly. Um, yeah. So the way this one works is, well, as the name suggests, you drive in a straight line, and that's it. And that's all you have to do. There's a turnaround point at the end. It expands the entire length of the map. But it's never that simple. Mostly because we drive dumb vehicles in this one. Vehicles that have weird hitboxes. Vehicles that don't behave properly in contact. And because we have slipstream and catch-up on, no one ever gets a big lead. Because, well, you're always leapfrogging your way forward. The car in first is slowed down. And everyone has a massive accident all the time. Uh, so we've got the Weevil because these things climb over one another in a weird fashion. Uh, and that's bad for them. Uh, they're going to ping off to space and all of that sort of stuff. Now, we are happy to work together with anybody we can at this juncture to get ourselves back forward. Uh, hopefully Bumpy. So we'll slingshot past Bumpy. Bumpy will then get in the tow behind us. And then we'll go past. And then we can go and get in the tow of Bumpy. And so on and so forth. Although Bumpy might have slingshot a little bit too far forward. Not that it's going to matter because there's a big crash going on up ahead. And everybody's pinballing around. And... Yeah, it'll eventually work. And Peg has actually been a bit unlucky. It's just kind of fallen off the back of the draft. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where is the longbow going to end up? That is the question there. The longbow and the Gliska got into trouble. They sorted themselves out. We're back into the draft off of Bumpy. And we will be happy to... Again, you give the draft to whoever's behind you as much as you can. We probably should have actually lifted and tried to bring in Pega with us intentionally. When we're that far back, it's actually not a bad idea to have more cars to work with. Because you'll have a better chance of uh, finding somebody to slingshot with. Uh, Brazen's got a little bit in bother with Blakey. Lado and Stevie have gone for... Whoa! Uh, some lovely synchronised spinning in all of that. We've got a big old draft off of... Ninetales, I think that one there is. Not able to get far enough away. Oh, there was a climb. Danger Man tried to climb over uh, Amy's car. Didn't quite work. Let's see if we can get into the drive. Well, Ninetales will get to the lead of the race and will now lose all of the speed. Uh, there we go. We will now oh, go shooting past. We're happy to try and give some draft tonight. We haven't quite seen these climb over each other as much. They're more kind of pinballed off each other, which is not quite what we were expecting. We were expecting more of the whole climbing over the car in front. Definitely will have for a second vehicle in all of this. Oh, there goes Impega. And here comes... Em Whoa! <laughs> well, thank you for the... Well, that's not really how a side draft works, but it kind of did the job. We kind of got the sort of side swipe, essentially grabbed our car and pulled it forward. Actually, quite efficient at getting us up to speed and making sure we didn't lose the draft. Not intentional, I know, but it, it worked. I don't think you could do it in ten. It was also helped by the fact that... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. These get so wobbly when you're trying desperately to avoid a crash. <laughs> it's, it's understandable. Oh, Brazen started climbing. There we go. That's the sort of thing that we were expecting to see more of. Oh, so, these, you get away a little bit more with... Oh, we're doing a wheelie! <laughs> there, there was definitely a good wheelie going on there. Brazen's now trying to make us do a wheelie. See, the, the here with the bump drafting is... It's funny because it's more likely to screw the car over doing the pushing than the car being pushed in many ways. Oh, we just got shuffled out of that. Uh, yeah, we're now trying... We are def <laughs> we're definitely going... Oh! Brazen's going to end up in the wall. There's definitely more pushing going on. And there will be as time goes on. Go! We'll get the train. We'll get the train. Oh! Okay, that, one there, that was just more of a normal GTA bump draft effect happening. Did we didn't really get the climbing that we were looking for. Uh, and Peg is pushing you and oh, we've got to push in all of this as well. I've got nowhere to go. Amy, go forward. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank you, GTA. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, Danger Man. I was trying to get my car out of the way as best as possible. Why did it decide to do that? It just lagged a little bit. It just had, the cars were stationary for a second and that's all it took to kill me, essentially. All right, Lado, come here. We'll try and work with you. 
Uh, if we can get Lado a slipstream here, we'll have a little lift. Just try and get Lado. If we can get Lado into the draft, and then yeah, there we go. So then Lado can slingshot past, and then we can get into the draft of them, and then we'll all, we'll both work together. No, Lado, just lift a little bit. Oh, okay, go for the turnaround section anyway. No, that's fine. Um, oh, there's been a death somewhere. There there was a death. Were there explosives there before? I don't remember. Uh, we're going to get into the... Oh! <laughs> uh, through the gap a little bit. Okay, these do not turn or stop at all. Um, thank you, Brazen. <laughs> I want to go down this side. We've actually done quite well at that turnaround. We've made up a fair bit of the time that we lost. Sadly, we might be a little too far back to uh, get any drafting off Danger Man. We might have to wait until the vehicle's ahead or get into trouble. Well, this... The, you know... Oh, actually, the leaders are quite far away. Um, by the end of the lap, we'll have caught them, but they're a little bit further away. Da ah, Danger Man's lifting. Danger Man's going for the... Uh, yeah, Danger Man wants to work together. I'm fine with that. That's a good plan. Uh, so we'll make sure that we don't slingshot too far forward. Basically, we just have a little lift to make sure we can keep Danger Man in the draft, and then hopefully they'll do the same for us as they go past. Because uh, it's way more advantageous if you can do that to make sure that we work together. It just gets us to the group quicker. We would get there on our own eventually, but this is the way more efficient way of doing it. So we will go soaring past. And actually, you can go for go for a little bit of a lift, keep Danger Man in the draft. In fact, now we're going to have uh, Impega to draft off and you and Ninetales and oh, Danger Man's going to give us a bump forward. That's all good. That will work. We will go past Ninetales. Yeah. <laughs> that is how you can teamwork up on the straight line, even when these cars aren't the... Because the sp speed differential... Okay, we're basically with the... Uh, uh, yeah, we've, we've kept that car there. Uh, we have worked together to join the uh, join the group. Danger Man's found the gap to go for. Blakey, let's go! There we go, Team Orange! Look at this! Team Orange teamwork! Well, it kind of works. It works briefly. And, oh, and it worked better than whatever teamwork went on back there. <laughs> yeah, there's like a split second where the bump draft worked, but then something else with proper slipstream further back will just slingshot its way forward. Uh, can we get the draft of somebody? Hopefully we can. Maybe off of Lado. No, Lado went off to chase after a Pegasus. There's constant moving around of cars as everyone's looking for whatever bit of slipstream they can get. Blakey's back behind me. We'll follow level 8 forward. Yep, let's go, let's go! <laughs> These do not climb over each other as much as I remember them doing in normal races. I swear they were a lot more ridiculous. Uh, unless... Oh, they wouldn't have fixed car physics in GTA. That does not sound like Rockstar at all. Um, so, yeah, maybe we're just misremembering it. Or maybe just this sort of style of circuit isn't actually causing them as much trouble as you might expect. I don't know why that would be the case, but maybe. Who knows? I think it's just gone cruising past. Come on, Gabe. Oh, let's, oh God, you really don't want to get past on one of the uh, uphill sections because the catch-up... It takes a little while, of course, for the catch-up to deactivate. Look at that. That's, that's not gone well for me at all. Ugh... Come on then, Weevil. Let's try and get something happening. We've got Impega behind us. I might actually be better off dropping back and getting Impega to help. Because um, we've just been completely dumped out of that one. Yeah, okay. We will probably go for a little lift and try and let those catch up behind us. Cause, uh, oh, although, uh, I shouldn't have done it up the hill. I should have done it when we are on the dash. No, no, it might, it might work. Because as they're going to turn up, we'll start accelerating down the hill. That's more like it. Okay, we've got Impega with us. Yeah, this will work. Uh, this little group, if we don't do anything stupid, this little group should do the job to get us back to the lead. You don't normally, it's quite rare you'd lose like the lead draft in that manner. We've completely lost it. Huh. Well, there we go. We'll go past Impega. And then, yeah, it works much better when you've got three or four cars doing it because you can kind of uh, swap and change easier. You'll just keep that momentum going a little bit better. Uh, so now we'll go chasing after Impega. But if Impega goes out of range, we then have Brazen that can then drag us towards back towards Impega's draft. And yeah, Danger Man's lost out of the lead group also. Oh wow, we're actually coming right up towards the finish line. I didn't realise we were so close to the finish line. Oh bloody hell. I mean, we've got great amount of slipstream here, but it's going to be just a little bit too late, I think. We're going to be close. It's going to be us versus Lado. Oh, Lado went to turn us and... <laughs> Didn't quite work. Yeah, we were a little bit too far back. God, yeah. Those were not as ridiculous as uh, as I expected. That was fairly... I mean, it was silly. But 
I mean, the straight line even in the most sensible cars is silly. Uh, that was not as ridiculous as I thought it was going to be. Well, there we go. The next vehicles... The next vehicle is a guarantee is to be mayhem. Now, for our second race here, we are doing a two-lap run with the Patriot Mill Spec. Now, this is one of the most well, the weirdest hitboxes we've ever come across in a vehicle. So, <laughs> when we ran this in a normal race, they would bump the back of each other and do well that. They will just wheelie, they will launch themselves off everything, and Blakey's got exploded. Thinking Pega really kind of launched Blakey into a wall. I'm not sure what Ewan is doing. <laughs> oh, Stevie's gone for all sorts of flips. <laughs> and then Pega's rolled off Ewan. <laughs> yep, these are as dumb as I'd hoped. It's perfect. This is what Straight Line is all about. Vehicles that have completely busted physics doing stupid things that they really shouldn't. Dang, Gliska's over. <laughs> Gliska's gone. <laughs> just don't bump draft with these. They literally cannot do it. Uh, it is just the worst idea in history. So we're going to go three and four wide. Now, it's it's fine. You can sometimes get yourself four wide and everything is fine when you do that. Oh, we're all getting a bit squeezed there. Brazen was trying to get into some sort of slipstream. Gliska's actually recovered quite well, all things considered. Brazen is cheating, trying to put a wheel in the back of the truck. Oh, Lado's, Lado's vehicle's got a weird sort of squish going on on that front corner. That's, a, that's yeah, that's not healthy. That's not what a Hummer's supposed to look like. Okay, right. We will go again. Oh, there's a Brazen pointing the wrong way. You're not going to get very far in this one because uh, just chaos is going to rain inevitably. Uh, considering Blakey blew up at the start, which was not very long ago, the orange truck is already back into the fight. Uh, we will go either side of that mess. Blakey will pass, so we're now three wide. Ladder going for the slipstream. Pega desperately trying to dart into. Nope. <laughs> Bump drafting not going to work. <laughs> Climb over the opposition. Uh, Lado. Oh, there you go. The bump draft. Like, there's, there's about a 10% chance the bump draft will work, which is bad even for GTA standards. Like, a vehicle where it's like a. 50% chance the bump draft will work is kind of, you know, you might go for it, but this is just not not a good idea. <sighs> Sometimes you may have little option, but uh, more often than not, well, so you're always guaranteed to be better off just lifting. Uh, in Pega is climbing everything at the moment. We will oh, try to avoid a Gliska climbing a Nine Tails. Uh, I'm going to just stick to this side. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Why is there a flipping orange thing? <laughs> what happened to Blakey? <laughs> I was checking. I'm busy looking behind, and then suddenly there's a Patriot flipping. I think Blakey must have pinged off the wall somehow. I'm not quite sure how. But uh, yeah, there were problems with Blakey. I'm just going to go that side and avoid the huge wreck that has occurred. And we have the lead of the race. It's not going to last very long. Um, but we do have the lead of the race. I've just oh, and Lado is oh god, this thing is so that is ridiculous. I could walk up this hill almost faster. Uh oh, the, no, that bump draft worked. Wonder if Lado's truck is so broken it now doesn't climb over stuff. That is a, possibly a thing that could happen. Uh, whoop. I feel like if they if they did get to that stage, they're probably really good at bump drafting because they've got quite a square nose. But yeah, they just they just climb. That's that's the problem. Longbow is. <laughs> I think there's an element of we're determined to try and make the bump drafting work because it's funny at this point. Um, Lado, and also, like, Lado's got nowhere else to go at that, so you almost might as well try because there's that small chance it'll work, and if it doesn't, oh, Gliska's just bunny hopping. Uh, I don't know whether the back of my truck is... Maybe the bent the back of mine because mine does seem to not cause as many troubles with... <laughs> stuff climbing over other stuff. We seem to get away with it a lot better. Oh, Ewan's exploded. Goodbye, Ewan. How on earth did Ewan explode and not the mess that went on alongside me? It's where the joins are on these elevations. That's what's um, catching people. <laughs> well, that works too. That that works. That's Those explosives were fun. I mean, for me watching, what the... Whoa, there's a danger man heading towards us. Bumpy's pinged off a wall. 
There's gonna be a gap down here. No, in Pega. Bad in Pega. <laughs> Pega's just Pega's in chaos mode at this point. That, that's all it is. Um, right, we're gonna stay away. That's a huge, but a big mess at the turnaround. It was fine for us because we were so far clear of everything. We were just out of the way. We were just doing our own thing. Uh, me and Blakey are kind of got our got got this gap. It's not. It's, of course, it's not gonna last. Uh, we will be caught fairly quickly um, as soon as they start. I say working together a little bit. Um, you see the speed that I'm going over these hills. Blakey's right behind us with a pretty much undamaged uh, vehicle compared to the front end of mine. That is not in the shape that you want your Hummer to be. Uh, we will take the lead. You can already see how quick they're catching us. Um, we're going to have a lift because I, I don't even really need to bother about having a lift because the catch up will just um, slow us down so much. Blakey will be back in the slipstream in no time, and then there's going to be another three, and then another three, and it'll soon be back to complete and utter chaos. Ooh. Okay, you're going that side of us. That's fine. Yeah, okay. It's going to be back to a big group of vehicles. Uh, we will... Uh, we don't immediately get back in the draft, but we'll go with this group. Oh, nine tails. Uh, try to get Stevie back pointed the right way. There's just no real good way in that. Uh, we're either going to get pushed from behind or pushed forward. I was trying to get Stevie to point the right way again. The problem is, is that in doing that, we ended up having... Basically, if, if we turned away, you could have turned into Stevie, we would have spun Stevie. Or if they try to put Stevie the right way, we ended up spinning Gliska, it sort of accidentally. Uh, that's the thing with this straight line. That is going to happen. It's going to happen constantly as well. But in a couple of minutes, you'll be back up with the lead group, is normally how it ends up going. Uh... We've actually struggled to get ourselves back to this lead group at the moment. We've kind of found ourselves just in a little bit of no man's land. Uh, which is less than ideal. And we are going to catch now if they fight like this. And somebody is going to go launch their vehicle to space. Like, it's just a guarantee someone is going to somewhere along the line. Here comes a uh, yeah, Nine Tails. And this will actually work because we're now going down the hill. Nine Tails doesn't get too far away. Uh, we will get the tow. Oh, and we will go and avoid a slowing, slightly stricken Stevie. Okay, all is good. Big launch up into fourth, and then we can continue the slingshot all the way forward. Not quite as effective as Nine Tails is, but still pretty good. Uh, oh, <laughs> Nine Tails' death was spectacular. <laughs> oh, these wolves! These wolves cause some problems. Uh, can we? Nope. Oh! <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's another way to remove competition. Not the intended side effect. We have to have a go. I could, we couldn't let everybody else have all the fun. And sure enough, we bounced ourselves up into the sky a little bit, but somehow we kind of kick-flipped Danger Man out of the... Well, out of the front group for a moment. Quite how we managed to do that, I'm not sure, but that is what happened. Uh, we've not got... Oh, here we go. Here comes the slipstream. Through the middle. Yeah, there'll be a gap. We're trying to get a little bit of a sneaky toe off of Blakey. So yeah, you don't want to bump the wall because you never know what bit of the wall is going to be grabby and decide your vehicle should be launched. Um, if you do end up on your side, which happens a lot when you're climbing over other trucks, some bits of the floor are grabby and equally end up in vehicle being launched upwards. Uh, just You've got to be careful for sudden vehicle sent to space. Here comes Longboat. Oh, okay, that bump drive there, that was good. That worked. I don't know whether we're going to get another push. We might do, yeah. Okay, that, that pushing's working. Level 8's on the... Uh, oh, that pushing, not the worst. Also not ideal. God damn it, if, if we'd been doing one lap, it would have been a Team Orange 1-2. Oh, okay. Now, I've gone a little bit deeper under brakes because I know there's going to be some mayhem if we try and sort of just held it close. Oh, Longboat was a bit unlucky in all of that. Oh, crap. Uh, up against the wall. <laughs> it's the way to go. Definitely through there. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. I am car hat. <laughs> what happened, Fizzik? <laughs> I mean, I guess... I think it's as we were coming off of longbows, I think just dug into the floor and decided that that was... Oh, we're going to be in the middle of two groups. That's not what we needed at all. Um, we were trying to repay longbows' helpful bump drafts, but they were not helpful when we tried it. It did not work. Did not work at all. Um, bugger. Because uh, that group behind might actually catch us. Yeah, that group will. So I guess we'll, we'll join the second group. 
and use that to pull ourselves hopefully towards the front group as everyone goes shooting past right there goes danger man and visca okay we all go to the back of this group and with this many vehicles we should be able to work together fairly efficiently and pull ourselves all forward uh, we've got oh yeah especially when they've all done that up ahead i just lifted oh no there's uh, yeah not much good really <laughs> was there any good from that one i guess we could have lost a little bit more time we could have had to reset that's about as good as it uh, about as bad as it oh sorry lado i didn't remember to look behind before moving over definitely should look behind before changing direction uh, before extreme changes of direction on straight line because you never know who's got a massive run uh, with an, all of the slipstream yeah see we've got going this time around we've actually stayed relatively well with the group oh nine tails is spinning that way you've got to kind of predict where a spinning hummer is going to end up Oop. i mean we've <laughs> Pega has pretty much pushed us to the front group. Like, whoa! <laughs> the, the pushing did get us to the front group. It's sketchy and scary. You never know quite what's going to happen. But it did work. Uh, I mean, we're going to go, oh, no, okay. <laughs> we were going to go and give him Pega a push, but in the end, we missed anyway. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was probably for the best. Let's be honest. It's just too tempting to see what happens. It, oh. I didn't even want to go for the contact on that one. I was actually trying to get away from that, but as Longbow and Brazen got connected, they ended up suddenly in my path. Sorry, Longbow. <laughs> uh, not that much that happens here is really all that intentional. It's a silly race. Silly things are going to happen. Also, it's Brazen's front wheel. That's a very unhappy angle for a front wheel. I can tell you. To be fair, level 8s aren't great either. Uh, oh. <laughs> Peg is amazingly lucky that that didn't go a lot worse than that. Uh, that really could have gone terribly if that had dug into the floor. Yeah, the, as, as dumb as it is, that pushing does actually work a little bit. I mean, level 8, probably, one of us should have lifted, but I guess others have joined now, so it's fine. Uh, we've, we've got some slipstream. <laughs> Ewan's front wheel's completely just smashed to pieces. Brazen's fallen over. I think that was Amy or Bumpy. One of them's fallen over in that group. Uh, me and level 8 are still side by side through all of this we've we're in all sorts of different positions but we're still locked side by side pretty much trying to get any draft we can not going to get any here ewan gives pega a shove they're still actually side by side we're level eight which on our own up oh, now now finally that's uh, that little uh, battle has ended pega's gonna give us a push oh dear oh dear that push did not go well for us <laughs> But <laughs> where did that? How did that fall over? And where did that fall over come from? Oh, thank you, Nine Tails. Much appreciated. I know you probably do not appreciate that one. Oh God, Pega got a push. It didn't work. <laughs> Somehow we're still in third. Blakey found a wall and got in trouble from that. I pull quite badly to the left now. Funnily enough, uh, I don't think these Hummers are in very good condition anymore. Who would have thought all of the jumping? Oh bugger, we're doing the turnaround now. Uh, level 8 and Lado are battling for the lead of the race. I am actually kind of happy maybe to overshoot this turn a little. Oh no, wait. Don't overshoot the turn. Don't overshoot the turn. There's not as much runoff area as there is at the start line. Oh, okay, well, we were going to fall off, I think. I think we were going to get pushed off by incoming vehicles anyway. So, we will just take the reset. It's easier. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's an unlucky respawn. It's not really what you want, is it, there? Um... Yeah, that's not... Whoa! That appeared at the last second. I'm sorry, Amy. There was very little I could have done about that one. It was clear. The path was clear and then it suddenly pinged into existence. The bit of... Uh, that's like a missile holder bit carrier. Whatever you want to call it. Um, the metal frame. There we go. Just Yeah, that's not... Never what you want, really. Okay. Longbow, we're going to have to work together a little bit, and uh, Bra oh, Brazen might be a little too far back for this one. I mean, Longbow, unlike the Weevil, these don't go as far past the other vehicle that you're slipstreaming with, so you can do this leapfrogging quite efficiently. Uh, it changes when you start getting into bigger groups of cars. It's sort of too much easier with this making two people work. With the Weevils, it's 
you have to really actually pay attention to what you're doing to get this sort of leapfrog working. But with the Hummers, uh, two people, it'll work fine. Well, you'll, you'll get easier with a group. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Blakey slow going over the crest, not where you want to be. Uh, thankfully, there was enough space for us all to sort it out. Uh, yeah, Impega will go past, you and all go past, and we should get the draft from Impega. And if we just fall out of it, we can then go into the draft of Ewan. They are four and five wide for the lead of the race. Oh, I thought Stevie was going to bounce across the track more. Uh, oh, Longbow. Longbow was desperately unlucky as well there. There's nowhere Longbow could have gone, really, to avoid that. Um, I was just doing the guesswork of where is that bouncing car going to end up, and I didn't quite get it right. I was expecting to bounce more, <laughs> and it did not. So we just cleared it out and made a problem for everything. Uh, Abaddon has some opinions on that as well. Thank you. Um, I don't know whether that's a good opinion or a bad opinion, but Abaddon had opinions. Oh, there's a fallen over pink machine. No, oh, see, that's what I was expecting to go on with the previous one. That's why I moved so much because you just don't know where they go. They're like a rugby ball, basically. When they bounce, they bounce and they go in a direction. You just don't know what direction it is. Uh, Danger man, actually doesn't have too much trouble, surprisingly, in that push. I thought that was going to go wrong. Oh, it's going wrong. It's going wrong in front of me. How on earth did Danger Man keep... I, I did lift for a fair bit of that, but even still, I don't know how that kept going as long as it did. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I mean, that was basically a perfect wheelie off the back of Lado, but that was it. Oh, Blakey, that's a brave gap to go for. Yeah, that was always going to be a problem. <laughs> God dear. Amazed that didn't wipe me out in all of that. Gliska and Ninetales. Oh, Gliska's gone. I thought level 8 was about to have trouble. The red thing's gone. I'm not sure that was Ninetales, I think, has fallen over. Lado's back in the fight. Uh, we'll go try and follow Lado on this side if we can. Yeah, we're happy to head down here. We'll keep this group uh, going. I mean, there's another lineup. Is that you and an Impega? I think it is. Are coming to join as well. It, it's all going to close up. Whether they're going to, how many more vehicles going to have time to join this battle before the end? I'm not sure because don't really. There's the lack of any reference points means the finish line just suddenly creeps up on you. Uh, we've got great run through here, and I'm glad I can sweep across like that. Oh, here the finish line is here. Oh, we've gone at the wrong time, I think. Uh, unless Impega crashes it, or unless we can get a great draft here, we need a really good draft here. Uh, Lado's bouncing. Lado and Impega have got connected. We have got an amazing run. Here it is. It's the perfect time. Danger Man tried. Danger Man failed. We take victory at the straight line. Woo. Oh, dear. <laughs> that was everything we hoped it would be. The Weevils... I mean, the Weevil race was fun, but they were a little bit of a letdown. They didn't do the weird, silly physics that we wanted to see. These. These were not a letdown. These did the weird, silly physics that we wanted to see. Um... Yeah, we take victory. Danger Man actually cost themselves second place in that one, trying to block me. Uh, ended up dropping to third. Lado gets fourth and fastest lap of the race in that one as well. Ah, oh dear. Those were glorious. Those were everything that, um, that we wanted them to be on the straight line. What a mad, silly race that one is. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this, uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Stinty as well for, for building this track. This track's been around for a while. Thank you for updating it as well. It's always good entertainment. It's silly, silly entertainment, this one. Always a good laugh. Uh, <laughs> but that shall be it for today. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.